I want to bring in now a key member of the United States House of Representatives, Elijah Cummings, is one of those undecided Democrats. The president, uh, Congressman, was speaking at you. You have not yet made up your mind. Correct me if I'm wrong. He's not, he's not only speaking to me. He's he was speaking, speaking in part to, to you. you and my did he convince you that he's right? I thought he did a very good job, and I still haven't decided. But I got to tell you, it was not a waste of speech. As a matter of fact, I told the president he needed to make this speech. Um, I thought he made a great uh, moral argument. I, I, you know, this whole idea that our troops could be gassed, that is very significant. I mean, you don't hear that too often. That's real. I mean, in other words, it would be unfair warfare. But, you know, what I wanted the president to do, and I think he did it, was to tell us why this is in the national security interests of the country. I thought he did a good job. And I, and I like the fact that he acknowledged Iraq. The, I told the president when he came to the Congress, he did not only come to us, he came to our constituents. When you've got 90% of your constituents saying no. In your district. In my right. district. And this is a district which is 77% for the president, by the way, voted for the president. You've got to address my constituents, too. And, and other members of Congress are in the same place. And the other thing that, that he did was, you know, there, there's a question of what are the, the uh, objectives. One was to degrade, is to degrade the capacity of Assad to use the weapons. I don't think he dealt with the second piece. If he does not completely degrade his capacity, then what truly is the deterrence? I mean, and, and I think he kind of hit on it, but I, I would have liked for him to explain What a else bit does more. he need to do to convince you, a great supporter of he's his, show me that the, you will vote in favor of this the, authorization? He's got he's to make it clear to me, and, he, and I thought he did a pretty good job here tonight, that this is not going to mushroom into something else. My constituents are tired of war. I mean, they are painfully tired. They, they saw what happened to Iraq. We went to Iraq on some untruths. This is what they tell me. Not only did we go on some untruths, but then we spent a, a trillion dollars. We lost men and women. The first person to be killed in Iraq was from my district. And so they want to know that it's not, a, not Iraq. Did you vote to authorize the war no, in Iraq? No. You voted against it. That's right. And so your inclination is to vote against any military authorization. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. I, I you know... The one thing that I am, we were elated about today was this Russian proposal. Um, and I understand what the president is doing. The president is saying, okay, and, and we need to give the president credit. They wouldn't be talking. These Russians wouldn't be talking if it were not for the president who made a decision. Keep in mind, he made a decision to go in. And then he said, I want to bring the country with me. So that decision had a great bearing on the Russians and the Syrians. But, I, 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 but I've got to get past uh, Wolf. The idea that it might mushroom into something else. That, and that's the uncertainty. In other words, there would be unintended consequences. That's right. And there could be uh, an escalation uh, of this war. And once again, U.S. troops would be on the ground. Eleven in years, trillion dollars, uh, people killed. Uh, that's what our folks are worried about. And I think that that's, what, that's the worry, whether it's a Republican district or a Democratic district. To, to be frank with you, in my district, I've only talked to maybe three or four people out of probably two or three thousand. Who said that they're for this? But you think folks who watch the president? I think tonight folks who watch be it, impressed. I or? think he would. I think he probably swayed some people. But you know, trying to when you've got the backdrop of Iraq, when you've got a Colin Powell, who people trust. I mean, one of the most trusted men in the world, to come with inaccurate information. And a lot of my constituents say, well, you know, we trust the president. We love the president. But you're sure the information is, is accurate. But one of the things that, that is interesting about this, it seems that the public now, from all the polling, is convinced that Assad did use chemical weapons. I think the president painted a, a, a great picture of what happened. It's a hor horrific picture, but a great picture, very graphic. And I thought he did a good job of it. Elijah Cummings, I know you're going to be uh, weighing heavily Big time. in your mind what he said. Uh, I, I sense there's a little bit of a shift, but you're not there with him yet. No. Uh, Elijah Cummings, Democrat of Maryland, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, Newt Gingrich, uh, what do you think? Uh, we got a, a congressman who's undecided, a liberal Democrat, who loves the president of the United States, but he's not yet ready to Look, commit. I, I thought Congressman Cummings laid it out perfectly. I, mean, I think you could take that interview and show it around the country, and it captures exactly where the American people are. I think in every district, whether they're for or against the president in the election, people have come to the conclusion that said that Assad's really bad. 80% of the country believes Assad did use uh, poison gas. They think it's a terrible thing. 
and yet. And I think part of it's something that Stephanie and I have talked about a lot, which is this country is tired. Mm -hmm. We have been through over a decade of war, and it's very hard to convince people that we're somehow going to magically... And Stephanie, uh, and you've worked with the president for a long time. If he hasn't yet been able to convince Elijah Cummings that he's right, <laughs> he's got an enormous challenge ahead of him. Well, I think the congressman reflects where the country is, really. And as Newt said, this is a country that is very war-weary. Uh, we've been at war a long time. And the president is the person who's actually bringing those wars to an end. Um, and, but it, it's just, it's right for the American people to approach this with some skepticism. The president has been, and tonight he gave a great speech to lay out why, why the U.S. must act, why it's in our, in our security interest, and what the consequences are if we don't.